There we go. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, that's a super nice bass. They're chasing. Yes. Well, here we are. Back in the middle of farmland, Indiana. Some of y'all might notice this or remember that I came here last year, stopped at this very spot. There's a four-way intersection right here. And there's a, there's, a, there's a creek over there that runs into the river. There's like a stream on this side. There's a, there's a little pond over here. There's a little pond over here. And I caught a couple fish out of here, but this time I, I looked around and I saw several bass over there. So hopefully catch a few more fish out of here this time. And um, I only caught like one or two and then I went some other places. So I'm gonna hope to catch some fish here. And it's a Sunday afternoon. Um, I've, been, I've been traveling back from Michigan and I stopped at some church I just found online. And he, of course, he preached on Jonah and the whale. So, whole time I'm just thinking about fishing. So, I'm gonna get over here, hopefully, catch a few. All right, this one had more flowing water, and I caught a fish out of here last time. But I looked in here just a little while ago, and I saw two or three largemouth. I think they were largemouth. They weren't real big, definitely big enough to get caught. Oh, no, those are smallmouth. Wait, here they come, here they come. Or are they largemouth? Dude, I saw them right here. Hit the lure, how come they not? I figured they would slam it as soon as they saw it in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a good largemouth right there. They don't even look at my lure. That's like a two and a half pounder and that's a smallmouth. There's a lot of fish in this hole right here. Oh, oh, dude, that's a little pickerel. A pickerel, a pike, a tiny little one came up and hit at it. Ah, this place is crazy. I just got to get something in. Good fish, good fish. Yeah, finally. Throwing it up under this. Wow. Oh, that's a nice bass. Finally. I didn't want to leave without getting something out of here. Holy cow. How fat that thing is. Oh, that's a good looking fish. There's a, there were several more in here and there's bigger ones than this that I saw. I don't know what they're eating, but when that water turned on, I bet most of them are sitting under there. I threw up under there, just trying to get something different and finally got one, nice. Pound and three quarters probably, just cause he's really thick, maybe a pound and a half. Good fish, yeah, yeah. Finally got one. I've been fishing this thing for 30, 40 minutes, seen all kinds of fish. Can't get a bite. Got a couple ditches here. Just saw this. And look at this one. All right, there's gotta be some fish in here. We gotta catch some ditch, side road ditch fish today. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Frog's not even hitting the water. How deep is that? Does it go very far that way? You know? Just, only right to the house. Just right there. So that's the bigger part out that way. Well, I'm changing things up. And um, I stopped at two or three ditches. Didn't catch anything, so I don't think I'll show all that. A couple of them look really good. I don't know what the deal is with those ditch fish, the ditch fishing today. Usually it's 
money. Usually I catch fish. Today, not so much. So I'm out in the kayak and I had to get some information from one of the locals. So got a friend up here that I fished with, uh, Justin, and he told me to hit up this lake. He told me this a uh, day or two ago and I wasn't planning on it, but since the ditch, ditch, fish, ditch fishing went so bad and some of the rivers are a little muddy, I figured I'd go over here and fish it and it's in a electric only tiny little lake uh like you know pretty tiny supposedly some good fish in here what is that in front of me Is that a, what in the world was that? It was, I don't know if it was a muskrat doing something weird with his tail. Cause that was awfully strange looking. I've seen fish chasing, look like chasing some little bait fish. I've seen them hitting around lily pads, but I ain't got a bite until right then. That right there. First fish. Okay, I don't know if they're up in the lily pads like I think they are. It's up in, well, I mean, they might be. Dude, they're fish busting, that's for sure. All right, I, I threw the frog for a bunch, just switched to the spinnerbait, caught a fish on like a, not very many casts in. So if I can throw the spinnerbait, we'll try it. If it's, but there's a lot of grass in here, it's really thick in here. I just had a fish hit right here and here. I'm gonna have to fish open water, I think. Ooh, hit that chatterbait. I'm trying to find something to get through this grass, but also be something aggressive, I guess. Oh man, they're busting. I see fish busting, hitting the top, all like all over the different places. They're just, they're definitely active. These fish are super active. They want to be caught. I gotta start getting them, start getting on them. Oh, wow. Those explosions over there. There we go. That's a good fish. If he doesn't get me in the weeds and he's trying to. Oh, wow. That's a good fish. Awesome. Trying to keep him out of the weeds here. He's got, oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Oh, my. That's a nice bass. Oh, that's a super nice bass. Holy cow, good thing I got my net. Let's get him up here, come on, come on. Wow, I was getting very desperate, thinking, oh my goodness, thinking, I'm not gonna do much today. Oh my goodness. This is a nice bass. Holy cow. I got bass like that up here in Indiana. Dude, would you look at that. You know what I didn't bring? My bump board. I would love to know how long this thing is. That is over 20 inches. Um, I'm, I'm thinking like 21 inch bass. Oh my. Oh, wow. I heard the rain coming. It's all hitting the lily pads for it hit the, or it was louder when it hit those pads. Okay, well, we're getting a little rain come down. I do have my scale. Okay, I think this is gonna be close to a five pounder. If he was, he's got a big head. I don't know, he may be over five pounds, actually. All right. <laughs> what a change of events. 
one cast. One cast makes. I was always about to flop. Okay, okay. Don't flop. Get on there. Yup, he's over five. Five and a half pounds. Five seven. Wow. All right, there's my giant Indiana, northern Indiana bass. I guess it's uh, worthwhile coming out in this little lake. Didn't, oh man, I didn't know how well it was gonna go. It was going slow, very slow. Couldn't figure much out. I thought it was gonna be like I fished yesterday at this pond, but it's totally different. There's been so much action going on. I've seen fish hitting. I've seen fish jumping, like little fish jumping out of the water, trying to get away from other fish. I know that the fish are biting. I'm like, there gotta be fish biting everywhere. I tried a chatterbait, caught one, tried a spinnerbait, caught one, thrown the frog a ton, nothing. I switched to this little yum dinger. I'm like, well, it's bluegill color. I'm just gonna start casting it by um, by the front of the lily pads here. Hooked into that one and I knew it was a big fish. He almost got me in the lily pads, so. I don't know if that's that's gonna work anymore. I, that was crazy. I, I don't know. I was I was like thinking, I even forgot my other batteries. I only have one battery and left in here. So I couldn't use my front camera. I was even thinking, ah, I'll probably go back in just a minute. <laughs> then I catch that fish. So uh, as long as it didn't rain too hard, I want to fish on at least till this battery runs out or at least till I stop catching fish. Well, that rain left quick, but it feels awesome out here now. Looks awesome out here too. Check this out. This looks really relaxing and peaceful oh that was cool that was cool i reeled it across the top of the water and this guy exploded on it i want to go with the frog but i just now i don't have any i mean i've already caught this is my second one and that was like Two minutes after I caught that big one, so it's hard to go back away from a yum dinger after you catch a five and a half pounder. But I just I think if, I think this is gonna do it. This is in June bug color. I see, there's still lots of action. There's fish out here swimming around all over the place. Oh, that's a good, that's another good one. Oh, maybe not that big. Oh, he had some grass on him. Okay, well, might as well put all the other rods away and just stick with this. We're just gonna start covering water, casting. Or like paddling, I mean, not covering water, but paddling and just casting off the, just off the edges, because that's where all the bites have been. It seems like they're like little points that these things are kind of making. That seems to be where I've caught my three on the yum dinger anyways. Well, and the spinner bay, I guess too. Oh, there's a fish. I was wondering if I was getting a bite or not. It was kind of weird. I like felt something, I let it pause, and I just, I got him. Little bass. Well, the yum dinger is definitely getting more fish, but uh, it's just uh, harder to work it through all this stuff. I don't know why they're not hitting that frog. They should be, oh my goodness. They should be just nailing it, or I would have thought anyways, but I know I've thrown it you know, got to be around a bunch of a fish that haven't gone for it. Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, I got him. <laughs> I had him and I lost him. And I got him again. When they want to hit it, oh goodness, is he bigger than I think he is? He's swimming all over the place. I, th I thought he was littler. Dude, that's a good fish. I thought he was a littler one. Wow. Oh man, that's a nice bass. 
That's a nice knife. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll get you. Yes. <laughs> nice. Really healthy. These guys in here are stocky. That's probably, I think, an 18 inch, I'd say. 18 inch, three pounder. Let's, let's go ahead and weigh him. Oh, three pounds even is what it says. Okay, so that thing weighs two, two ounces. I, was, I thought it did, so. He was just under three pounds, so. That's, we'll say it's a three pounder. Well, if someone knows something better to throw in this kind of stuff, I'd love to hear your comments. But I've gone through a few different lures that I have, tried to come up with something that works the best for me. Let that guy get in there. I get comments sometimes like, "Oh, you should you should have thrown this lure in a certain situation," and you know, and it, and it may be right, and it may have worked, but like, if you know that if you go out on kayak and stuff, you can't take everything. Let's see, I, I really didn't even take a ton of stuff today. And that's usually what I do. I just, you're gonna bring some of your basic, find some lures or your basic lures, and you can find a way to make certain ones work. No matter what the situation is, you like find a way to make certain lures work. And a lot of times it's, it's surprising what does work. So today, I, yesterday I, I fished a pond. It looked basically identical. It was a smaller pond. Tried yumdinger, tried spinnerbait, tried crankbait, tried everything, and I could only get bites on the frog. That was the only thing I could get them to hit. And they were back up in those, like way back up in there on the bank almost. Today, they're way out here. They're way out off, off the brush or out in the middle. Totally different pond, totally different situation. And I, I can barely, I've thrown the frog, I've had two bites. One was a solid one, but I've thrown the yum dinger and, I, and I'm getting, you know, getting fish. Another three pounder, or three pounder right there. Oh, goodness. What an explosion. There was tails flapping every which way over there on that I wonder if that bass is still over there that was a big fish hitting over here they're just out chasing i guess bluegill i don't really know what what all would be in here they're just cruising around and just ambushing some bluegill unless there's some kind of bait fish they that are also in here Oh, it moved on. It's already over there. Oh, no, it didn't. Dude, I just hooked it. There was another explosion and I just got, oh, I got another good fish. Dude, they're just all over the place. That's another three pounder, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fish. Oh man. How many of them are in there? Come on up, come on up. Okay, not three, but he's a two and a half. <laughs> this one's long and thin. He's the same length, not near as thick as that other one. That's a good fish though. Goodness. Oh, look at my line swim. That's another good one. My line was just taking off. Never felt that bite. <laughs> okay, just a small two pounder. Dude, they are stacked back in here. There we go. He's got like uh, some leeches or something in there. All right, he's not even a two pounder, he's, he's a one pounder. I think this guy's thin. There's like a couple of them really thin, a couple of them really fat. Look at that right there. Another another hit. They're chasing, they're chasing. Yes! I got it right in front of me. I timed it perfectly. Just where I thought he would be. I saw the weight coming. Threw it in front of him, twitched it three or four times, and he hammered it. Oh, he's a little one. <laughs> you don't know if there's a big and little one when they're chasing these fish out here. It's big old wakes. 
We're going down in size. It's all right. We've caught some good ones today. I'm just trying to, oh, there they are. Trying to make this thing look like it's, oh, yep. <laughs> I'm working it like a top water and I'm getting it hammered. There must be a little school of them because there was another one hit right when I caught this one. This one's got a leech in his mouth too. One little leech. Oh, dude, I just came around the corner, figured I'd follow this little row of pads and they're just sitting on the edge of it, it looks like. Some of them are chase, out there chasing, some of them are just sitting on the edge. And then my, the bigger ones, I've, the bigger fish I've gotten have been off right on the edge of this. This guy's not stopping. It's a good fish. Ooh, he's pretty heavy. Two and a half pounder. <laughs> oh man. Well, such, such good quality. Oh, I got about 25% battery life left on this camera. And uh, get him back in there. The sun's starting to go down. It's really beautiful out here. Really calm. Holy cow, they're stacked up on this thing. It's like five casts later. Little guy. This is getting crazy. From way it started, from the, oh, no, no, no. Oh, saved my yum deer. From the, how it started, the first uh, 45 minutes to an hour, to this last 45 minutes to an hour, is just night and day different. Well, it definitely didn't happen the way I wanted it or thought it was gonna happen today. Thought I was started out ditch fishing. Thought there, there was good fish in there. Thought I was gonna just catch all kinds of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I was gonna hit a couple of them, I did. I couldn't get a single bite out of some of them places. So since my buddy told me about this place, and it was about an hour away from where I was, I was like, well, I'll run over there, throw my kayak in. Got here about five o'clock. It was 5.30 or six. And it's nine o'clock now. So like, yeah, I think it was three to three and a half hours out here. It took me a little while to, like, it was, I was struggling. I was really aggravated at first and just, I'm like, yeah, what's the chance? He said there was good fish in here. What's the chance I'm gonna catch any good fish? Kept switching up a couple lures. Got that June bug, um, yum dinger on. And boom, it started going off. Caught that five and a half. Caught a couple, got a three, got some others. And that last hour was just crazy or probably the, that last 30 minutes over there, I probably caught five fish. And um, so heading in now, awesome time up here. This is the this is the end of my Michigan trip. So I'm actually in Northern Indiana, kind of working my way back. We, I was gonna try doing some stuff and then it, some things fell apart. Some things I had planned to just kind of do whatever. And um, I, like, I like the freedom whenever I'm traveling and fishing and trying to make videos. I love that freedom of not nothing, not a lot planned, just, Whatever I feel like doing, I'll stop here, stop here. It doesn't, doesn't have to work out. I can hop around. And even here at, at the beginning, I was like, uh, if it doesn't work out, it's fine. Then, So some really good fish. So thanks so much for watching. I'm not sure if I'll be back in Tennessee for my next video or, or maybe stop in Kentucky or Indiana tomorrow. I have no idea. Oh, wow. Right in front of me. Look at him hit that stuff. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just kind of wondering if I'd get one more and these just happen to explode right in front of me and they're still hitting. If I had another, oh, that's another good one. This place is loaded. So I just looked it up. This lake is 290 acres. There was a whole other section I didn't go to. I, I went through one big section of it. 
Oh, just another two pounder. You know, that's what I do today anyways.